I was in my dorm. We were in the lobby. There were 20 of us. We were watching the Super Bowl, screaming, yelling, having a blast. Somebody came walking in, just another student, went up to the television and began changing the channel. He hasn't been found today, all right? That's how mad we were. You see, that's a little bit like a read lock. You can have a lot of different people watching television or reading the same data, and it's no problem because it's not hurting anybody. And you can also have right locks where people are changing things and they go, this is an issue. You see, people can understand when you're updating a table, we have to put a right lock on there that say, stop from reading this. It's being updated right now. But did you know there's a reason that they have read locks? Because if you're reading this and somebody wants to update, I go, hey, I was here first. And that is the ongoing battle between read locks and write locks. So they're going to have a queue. The first person to get the data and request the data is the first person in line. Here you can see the first person says, I would like to read this. There's another person behind them that says, I want to read this. Since these are compatible, they go, you can both read it at the same time. You both want to watch the Super Bowl? There's no problem here. Well, the right lock is there. It says, you know, I'd like to update that. And they go, hold on here. Don't change the channel. You can do that when everybody else is done watching. When these two read locks are done, you can have that. Now, the read lock behind the right lock says, can I read it too? And they go, you can't be jumping ahead of the line. You'll have to wait your turn until the right lock is done. Every time you want to read or insert update, delete a table, it's going to either put a read lock on it or a write lock on it. And it's first come, first serve. There's only one single file line. I call it the queue. Teradata calls it a pseudo table. Now, the brilliance behind this locking strategy is if you're compatible, you can move up. And here's the way I like to describe it. Imagine you're going to the movies and you're in line, but you're way back. And you're like, oh, I hope they got enough tickets for me. We really want to see this film. Well, you see, what's beautiful about Teradata is if you're compatible with the person in front of you, you can move up. Hey, excuse me. Can we go to different high schools together? Good to see you again. And you're moving up. Oh, I love those shoes. You're moving up until you find somebody that says, back off, Jack. You go, wow, I'm not compatible with them. That's the way this works. You can't just look to the front of the line and go, oh, I think that looks like Ma, and go up that way. It doesn't work that way. You can only move up one at a time if you're compatible with the person in front of you. So as you can see here, two read locks, both move up. The right lock has to wait, how long? Forever if it takes. But when the two read locks are done, the right lock moves up and the read lock behind it waits until it's done. And then and only then will the last read lock get its chance. As you can see here, the insert update or delete statement was written first against the employee table. They're first in line. And however long that update takes is however long these read locks are going to have to wait. Hey, the good news is once the write lock's done, all three of those read locks will read simultaneously. Teradata always puts a read lock on every select statement. Why? So if somebody else wants to do an insert update or delete and you're first, they wait. The read locks were first here. No problem. They'll all read simultaneously. The write lock will wait till all three are done. This lesson is brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Begin your Teradata journey the right way with our Teradata Basics book. Visit coughingdw.com for more information.